Guys, UFC 300 is looking bleak as it gets. So, of course, Dana White just now came out and announced Zhang Wei Li versus Zhan Zhaonan for UFC 300 on the main card. They are taking an absolute shit on UFC 300. It's absolutely despicable. They better stack the rest of these fights to being absolute bangers because this is supposed to be the most monumental card of all time. This is supposed to be the best combat sport event to ever go down. That's what UFC 300 represents and they are truly fumbling the bag right now. I don't know what they are thinking, especially not making this fight in China where it would actually appeal to a, like a higher demographic because the Chinese people would want to come out and see the first ever Chinese versus Chinese title fight in MMA. But, of course, they have to shit all over UFC 300 and make like a regular, degular women's title fight, not even Alexa Grasso versus Zhang Wei Li, on UFC 300. This is not the type of fight that the fans want to see on UFC 300. And oh my god, don't even get me started. There is always that guy in the comments section. Casual fans don't understand how big of a banger this is. Or something along those lines. Spare me, bro. Nobody wanted to see that fight. I'm telling you right now. Give me literally any other ranked men's matchup. And I think that all of the fans are going to be much more excited about that. You're telling me that you wouldn't be more excited about Israel... Adesanya versus Kamzat Shamayev or Robert Whitaker versus Kamara Usman or Surreal Gaon versus Sergey Pavlovich or something along these lines. No, you're lying to yourself. And I think the people that have this take are absolutely crazy and they're just trying to come across as more hardcore than they really are just by, you know, going with the narrative that the UFC puts out there. It's absolutely cringe. Spare me with that nonsense. The fans wanted to see Connor Chandler. They wanted to see Pereira Hill, maybe Pereira Izzy, Usman Whitaker, Israel Adesanya versus Chemaev. They wanted to see anything other than this. And I think I can speak on behalf of all hardcore MMA fans. We're not excited for this matchup. And I think that UFC 300 is literally going to tank. I can't imagine a world where... If I was a UFC matchmaker, I'm really sitting down and looking at this. And they've had months to prepare for this, so there's truly no excuse. Where I'm really looking down at the card thinking, yeah, for the main event of the biggest pay-per-view that we've ever put on, we're going to go ahead and do a regular degular women's title fight with two people that aren't marketable, don't speak English, and that nobody cares to see whatsoever. It's an absolute fumble of the bag. I hate it. I can't stand it. These are not the fights that the hardcore fans wanted to see. It's despicable. I truly think that UFC 300, it could literally end up only, it could end up doing less than a million pay-per-views. With how it's going right now, Bo Nickel versus Cody Brundage, they couldn't even, even have given Bo Nickel like a half-decent opponent where we could actually see a competitive fight, a test. It's ridiculous. It really is. And this is really hurting the stock of the UFC absolutely putting a sleeper matchup on this card like i said hopefully they stack the other four or five fights on that main card so that it kind of compensates for having an absolute sleeper on there but you know if you take a step back really look at it for what it is at least there is going to be a spot on ufc 300 where you know you can, you can use the bathroom um, you know, you can get another slice of pizza, reheat any food you need to, you know, if you got some, you know, wings or anything like that that need to be reheated, you can definitely go do that. You know, if you need to check your sports book, you know, see, you know, your prelim parlays and everything like that, your prelim picks, you know, check your check your sports books to make sure that uh, all your picks have hit so far uh, up into the night because no one's really going to be paying attention heavily to this fight compared to the matchups that we were expecting on UFC 300. Now, I'm not hitting on the fight overall. Like, listen, imagine how great of a fight 
night card that they could put on, for example, with this title fight, Zhang Weili versus Yan Jianan, in China, main event, can main event, Song Yudong if he beats Peter Yan or give him another matchup even if he doesn't beat Peter Yan, put Song Yudong on the can main, can main event. Problem solved. But you already know the UFC has to fumble the bag at every opportunity they get. I am 100% convinced that UFC 299 is going to be much, much better than UFC 300. I'm almost certain of that at this point because they have stacked UFC 299 to the absolute teeth all the way down to the early prelims. But it doesn't seem to be the case on UFC 300. I wouldn't even be surprised if we get an Alexa Grasso title defense on the main card as well because that's the direction they're damn near going. But... That's just my take on it. I genuinely hope that the UFC and Dana and all his little cronies like Hunter and McMannard and all those little cronies up in the UFC lab can cook up something good for UFC 300 and save this card. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and thank you for watching this video.